Hi everyone! In this video I'm gonna show you how to tie a rope halter. This rope halter will be tied using the fire door knot, which is a little hard, but certainly a lot stronger than the easier overhand knot. I always prepare the tape measure by rolling it out to about at least 50 centimeters so that you don't have to grab it all the time. Find the middle of the rope and lay the middle alongside the tape measure. Move your hand 50 centimeters from the middle. This will be your new middle. From this new middle, move 10 centimeters to one side. There you make an overhand knot. If you want to know how to make the overhand knot, click the link in the description. After making this first knot, move 10 centimeters to the other side of the middle, which is technically just 20 centimeters from the knot you just made. Again, make an overhand knot. Now you have two knots which are 20 centimeters apart from each other. These will be the knots which will be on the nose band. Grab the middle, which is exactly between the two knots you just made, fold the rope in half, and measure a distance of about 50 centimeters from this middle. Lay the rope down with the knot side facing downwards, make an S shape of the rope and let the ends rest upwards of your working area. Make sure the short rope end is on the right and the longer end is on the left. Oh, and also make sure that the ropes absolutely do not cross each other. Take the knot end and lay it over the S-turn to the right. Take the inner loop and lay it over the outer loop like this. Take the shorter end of the rope and lay it downwards over the knot end. Take it back up by leading it underneath the lower rope and over the upper rope. Take the longer end of the rope and on the right side of where you, where you just fed through the short rope end, Feed it through the knot end loop. The shorter end of the rope will now be on the left side and the longer end of the rope will be on the right. Take the shorter end and bring it underneath the first three ropes of the left loops and over the last rope. Now take the longer end and feed it just underneath the first rope of the left loops. Now your rope halter looks like this. Pretty nice, eh? Make sure these loops stay visible. You might need to pull them down a little at this point. This knot end is, as I said before, the nose band of the rope halter. Make sure you get it out of the mess with at least the overhand knots you tied before. Now it's time to pull the whole thing slowly, switching sides regularly. The sides will be the rope ends, the lead rope loops and the nose band. Pull each of them one by one until the knot is not moving anymore. And then it will be your fire door knot. Get your tape measure and measure about 20 centimeters from the fire door knot on the loose rope ends. Here you tie an overhand knot. Make sure the longer end 
ends up on the left side and the shorter end on the right. Take the longer end and make an overhand loop at 25 cm. Make sure the loose end will be at the left side of the loop. Grab the noseband and loosen up the left overhand knot. Feed the long, loose end of the rope through this knot, just following its track. Make sure the distance from the overhand loop to the overhand knot will be around 25 cm. Follow the noseband to the next overhand knot and feed the rope through that one as well. Make sure that after doing this, both overhand knots on the noseband are still at a similar distance from the fire door knot. Take the short end of the rope and measure the distance until the overhand loop. Then take the long end and make sure you make this as long as the distance between the overhand loop and the noseband. Grab the short and the long ends together at the measured distances and tie an overhand knot. The long loose ends that are left now will form the rope that goes behind the ears of the horse. Feed it through the overhand loop to close the halter. To finish up, cut off the loose ends at the same length 
and burn the ends so they won't get loose. And then you're done! Thank you for watching!